welcome to Bottoms Down, chair yoga for everyone. I'm Carol. I'm glad you've joined us today. Now today is day one of our 28 day chair yoga journey together. We're going to stay seated today and focus on our breath. Now if you like the experience, click the subscribe button, it's free, and leave a comment. Let's get started. So we're going to start by sitting up tall and moving forward in our chair, okay? So we're not leaning back. Now the Sanskrit word yoga represents the connection between the body, our movements, which are called asanas, and the breath, which we refer to as the pranayama, and the mind or consciousness. So we're connecting the body, the breath, and the mind. Now as we begin each practice, we'll take some time to focus on these three elements. This just helps to center our minds and gets us ready for our practice. So next, we're going to focus on our position on the chair. So the first thing I want you to do is place both of your feet on the floor. And so we're thinking about, about grounding our feet. Now, if you've chosen to wear your tennis shoes, you can still feel your feet inside the shoes as they ground to the earth. Now, remember that those shoes do provide a lot of stability and support, so feel free to wear them. I, I just wouldn't recommend sandals, okay? So your feet don't just slide around in them too much. So again, we're going to back to our grounding our feet to the earth. So, so the grounding in yoga is connecting to the earth both physically and emotionally. So as we feel both of our feet as they connect to the earth, we make sure that they're flat on the floor and equally weighted. So many of us pronate or supinate our feet when we walk. It's just kind of sometimes it's sort of natural. But I just want you to think right now, make sure that each of those pressure points, and what I'm referring to when I talk about those pressure points is there's one point behind the big toe there's one point behind the little toe and there's two points of the heel. And I want you to feel all four of those pressure points on each foot on the floor and equally weighted. Okay, so kind of got that down. Now the next thing we're going to think about is connecting to our chair. So we refer to this as grounding our sits bones. Now the sits bones, also called sitting bones, they refer to the bottom part of the pelvis. And we're going to do just a little exercise to better feel that area of the pelvis, okay? So the first thing, I want you to think about sitting on your hands, palms facing up, okay? So we're going to lift one hip, and we're going to place our palm on the chair, palm facing up, and we're going to put our, our pelvis, you'll feel, you'll feel those pointy bones. Do you feel them, right, you, as you sit on it? So now we're going to do a little bit of an exercise so that we can feel those moving. So the hip tips, these pointy hip bones right here, I want you to rock them towards your shoulders. You feel that? Do you feel how the, the sits bones kind of moved back? Now we're going to move those hip tips towards our shoulders. And do you feel how they move forward? Right? So let's do that again. Hip tips. Well, I said towards shoulders and I meant towards knees. Okay, let's do this again. Hip tips towards your shoulders. You feel those sits bones moving back, right? Now, hip tips towards your knees. What am I doing wrong here? Now, hip tips to shoulders. You'll feel them moving forward. Hip tips to back and you'll feel them moving back. All right, let's do that a few more times. I'm not cueing that very well, am I? I'm sorry, but I think you're getting the feeling of it. I think I've got my shoulders and my knees mixed up there. That's okay. You got the sensation, don't you? Yeah. All right. So now what I want you to do is come back with that crown of that head nice and tall. And I want you to remove the hands. Now, do you feel those, those pointy bones? Do you feel those sits bones and how you're sitting up nice and tall on top of them? So kind of wherever you're landing, when you're sitting nice and tall, that should be right on those sits bones. And I want you to feel those connecting to the chair and feeling that they're equally weighted. 
Now we're going to lift our heart nice and tall. And let's lower those shoulders down out of the ears. This is another thing you'll hear me talk about quite a bit, shoulders out of the ears. So as we lift our heart, almost inevitably those shoulders want to come with. And I want you to really think about pulling those shoulders down. We're going to place our hands lightly on our thighs. Lift those palms up towards the ceiling. Now close your eyes. And if you don't want to close your eyes, that's fine. Just soften your gaze. Look down. Just don't let the head be the thing to fall, right? I want you just to have that, the gaze down. I'm going to close my eyes. Now I want you to focus on your heart center. So we're just connecting inward. And we're feeling that breath. So we've got our body connected to the chair. We're breathing our natural inhalation and exhalation. And we're focusing our mind or our consciousness on that heart center. Just feel that natural breath. Feel the rhythm of the breath. Let's do that one more time. Just a natural breath. We're going to bring our hands to our heart and we're going to set our intentions for today's practice. Just focus in on what you want to accomplish. One more breath here. Bring your hands back down to your thighs and open your eyes. How are you feeling? Maybe you have a sense of calm or relaxation. So we're going to start every practice in a very, very similar way. And you'll begin to feel that connection between the body and the breath and the mind. All right. It's a pretty good feeling, isn't it? Okay. So now we're going to move into a little series here to stretch our neck. So we're going to drop our right ear towards the right shoulder. So we're just going to hold this here for just a few breaths, feeling, giving that neck a little bit of time to stretch, right? Just a little bit. Now we're going to drop our chin towards our chest. Now we're going to drop that left ear towards that left shoulder. Ah, does that feel good? I like it. And let's drop our chin to our chest. Now we're going to look to the front of the room. Okay? Let's look to the right. And look center. And look to the left. Look back center. And we're going to roll our shoulders. So this is one of those things that I want you to really think about doing it mindfully. So what's the, what are the sensations, right? So we're moving those shoulders forward and up and back and down. Let's do that one more time in that direction. So really thinking about how's everything feeling? What's going on in my body as I do this? And then we're going to reverse it. So it's a nice relaxation, or a release, I guess is a better word, for the shoulders and even the neck a little bit, right? Lovely. One more time. And release it. And I don't know if you noticed, but I went pretty slowly. So that's the other thing. I think if you do those pretty fast, you might not get the same sensations as doing it slowly. So my preference is to do those pretty slow. So that's, you know, what, what I prefer to do. So the next pose is called Mountain Pose. And again, this is another pose we'll do in most practices. It's just a nice way to begin to lengthen through the spine as we warm things up. So we're going to bring our hands down by our side. And I like to spread my fingers wide. So it just gives those hands a little stretch. You see what I'm doing there? I'm just spreading those fingers. Now, if that doesn't feel good for you, or if you've got arthritis in your hands or whatever, and you don't want to do it, then don't do it. It's okay. I'm just going to do that because I like to stretch my fingers a little bit. 
Okay, so now we're going to move those arms up. Now you'll hear me refer to this position right here in a couple of different ways. It's I call it goal post arm. So think about football, right? If you're a football fan, you might kind of see the goal post here. It's also referred to as goddess arm. So you might hear me call it goddess arms. It's the same thing. But what I want you to think about is you're lifting up through the chest. Your shoulders are down out of the ears. And I want you to squeeze your shoulder blades behind you. So it's an active pose. We're not just kind of hanging out here with our arms in the air. We're really actively squeezing the shoulder blades back behind, pulling the shoulders down out of the ears. Now we're going to lengthen our fingers to, fingertips towards the ceiling and then into an extended mountain pose. Okay, so shoulders are down, arms are lengthened, but I want you to think about trying to touch the ceiling with your fingertips but pulling the shoulders down at the same time. Abdominals are engaged here, so pull that belly in, right? So think about pulling in. All right, let's release that. Okay, how did that feel? Do you want to roll your shoulders again? I'm all about rolling those shoulders, so anytime you want to do that, that's fine. Okay, we're going to repeat our mountain pose. Let's come down. Spread those fingers nice and wide. You feel it? Go post arms, goddess arms, squeezing those shoulder blades back behind you, belly tight, fingertips to the ceiling, lengthen through that spine. Think about touching the ceiling, pulling the shoulders down. One more breath and release. Very good. How did that mountain pose feel? Okay, the next pose is staff pose. Now this is one of those poses that you're going to think, ah, there's nothing to that until you actually do it. Then you're going to feel what's happening in your body. And it's pretty amazing how much you can feel without it looking like we're doing anything. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to place our hands, really the thumbs, right under the arms. Okay, right at the armpits. Now I want you to use your hands to, to cue your body to lengthen. So lifting up and lengthening through the spine. Okay, so we're using those hands to kind of pull ourselves up. Now we're going to release our hands and just put them on the seat of the chair, kind of back behind our hips. But I want you to keep that maintained spine. Do you feel that? Right? You've got to use your abdominals here to keep this position. I know, right? One more breath and release. Can we do that one more time? I just for fun of it. Let's do it. Okay, ready? Here we go. We're going to lengthen up. All right, are we ready? We're going to let go and bring the hands to the chair. Lengthen nice and long through that spine. Don't release. Belly is tight. Shoulders are down out of the ears. One more breath and release. <laughs> like I said, there's a lot more to that pose than, than meets the eye. So we're going to do some body circles this time and um, this is a little bit of movement for the spine. So we're going to take our hands on our thighs and that's going to give us some really good support. Okay, so we're going to start in one direction and make some big old circles. So I'm going to go to the right and then I'm going to go forward and then I'm going to go to the left and then I'm going to go back. Okay, and let's do that again. Same direction. Maybe inhale as you move forward and exhale as you move back. If you want to add that breath in, right, we can begin to start adding in a little bit of breath. So I'll tell you as we do this. Let's actually stop and reverse before I start talking. So let's reverse. So I'll tell you if at any time you're adding in the yoga breath and you're feeling not good or dizzy or yeah, it just doesn't work for you, just breathe normally. Don't ever feel like you have to add that yoga breath in if it doesn't feel good for you, okay? But I'll cue it, but you don't ever have to feel like you've got to do it. Let's do one more. So we're inhaling forward and we're exhaling back. Okay, let's all come up into seated. How did that feel? So we're beginning to move into that spine a little bit, right? But having the hands on the thighs is always going to give us a little extra support. So you can probably do that maybe a little deeper than you would if you weren't having your hands on thighs. Okay, so the next thing is a little knee rotation. So I'm going to grab my right knee and I'm going to bring it up and I'm just going to squeeze it gently. Okay, so super gentle here. 
Then I'm going to reach behind my thigh and I'm just going to make a rotation out, down, around, and up. And again, so it's just a little openness and movement for that hip joint, right? So nice, good thing to always keep the hip joint mobile. Let's go ahead and reverse that circle. We're doing great. You feeling okay? All right, let's put that leg down and we're gonna go to the other side. So if it feels okay to grab on the shin and pull, do so. If that bothers your knee, you're just gonna grab behind the thigh and pull. It's fine, right? So don't ever do anything that hurts. It's just, it shouldn't hurt. <laughs> All right, are we ready? Let's make those rotations. So we're going out, down, and across and up. You know we're gonna go both ways, so if you wanna start the other way, it's fine. All right, let's go ahead and reverse our circle. Just giving that little hip joint some movement this on this day, this first day of our 28-day journey. How are we feeling, everybody? Isn't it exciting? We're all doing it together, it's so fun. And we're gonna put that foot back down on the floor. Okay, so we're going to move into seated goddess. So remember earlier we came into those goddess arms, so we're going to start back into that, all right? And now we're going to add a little bit with our feet. We're going to do a heel and a toe and a heel and a toe. So we've got a little bit of wideness here in those legs. We're going to lengthen up through the crown of the head towards the ceiling. Bring your arms back behind you. Remember squeezing your shoulder blades back behind you. Goddess pose. We have one more breath. Now listen, what we're going to do is bring our hands to our thighs, and then I want you to leave your feet where they are and just let your knees fold in. So a little internal rotation for those hips. I like this one. Okay, we're going to do that whole thing again. All right, are we ready? Let's open up those knees. Bring back into those goddess arms. Don't forget, crown of the head lifts up. Squeeze those shoulder blades back behind you. One more breath here. Let's bring our hands back down to our thighs. Let's let those knees fold in. All right, last time. Open up, goddess arms. Squeeze those shoulder blades back behind you. One more breath here. And hands to the thighs, let those knees fold in. Feel that rotation. One more breath here. All right. Bring the knees open and we're gonna heel toe those feet back together. So we're gonna move into Shavasana pose. So this is our final relaxation pose. So we're gonna go ahead and sit back in our chair. All right. So lean back, now we get to lean back, relax. Place your hands lightly on the thighs and then if it feels okay, we're gonna flip those palms up to the ceiling. We're gonna take a deep breath in and a full breath out. Take a deep breath in and on this exhalation, close your eyes or soften the eyes. Go ahead with it. Yes, it will take time. Yes, it will require effort. Go ahead and get it done. You can think of a hundred excuses, but none of them will solve the problem or achieve the goal. What will work is you doing the work. You may have to struggle for a while, pushing uphill against a bitter cold wind, yet you will survive. You'll gain strength and raise your level of confidence. You'll have something to show for the time that has passed, and you'll have established a little bit of positive momentum. In the short run, the easiest choice is to delay, procrastinate, give in to doubt and hesitation. Look at the big picture, though, and see clearly that your best choice is to go ahead and get it done. Now, 
While your inspiration is strong, take the first step, then continue to follow through until you can look back and be thankful that you went ahead and got it done. Take a deep breath in and a full breath out. Open the eyes. Drop your right ear towards your right shoulder. Reach up with the right hand. Give the head a gentle tug as you press that left hand down towards the floor. Release it. Drop your chin towards your chest. Reach up with your hands. Give the head a gentle tug, letting those elbows fall down towards the floor. Release it. Drop your left ear towards your left shoulder. Reach up with your left hand. Give the head a gentle tug as you press that right hand down towards the floor. Release it. Look up just slightly. Open your mouth if you want to stretch your jaw. Bring your hands to your heart. Honoring one another, we say Namaste. Ah, very well done, my fellow Bottoms Downies. We've already made it to the end of day one. I think the hardest part is just getting to the chair. So please keep showing up. Click that subscribe button, leave me a comment, and I'll see you tomorrow.